my secret Greek yogurt shop making my favorite yogurt. Slay, we know you're in there. Can I help you? Still making the yogurt, Slay? PK, I stopped making yogurt ages ago. Then perhaps you can explain to me why I found this yogurt in my house. Oh my god! Sway, why does my wife love this yogurt so much? Isn't it entirely possible that Shakira just loves that brand of yogurt? Now that you say it this way, perhaps you're right. Sorry for bothering you, bro. Adios, pendejo. PK, he's lying! That's not mine. Arrest this man! Tell it, bro, why are you so sick? What is this? I know exactly what that was! Boys, the Striker Medalist Episode. If you haven't been subscribed to the channel for the past two or three months, you won't know that this has been one of the most heavily requested episodes on the channel, period. I'm actually trying to think what would have been more requested than this. If you look at the comments over the past two weeks at least, you will see Striker Medalist Episodes way is easily at least 50% of the comments. So I think what happened about a month and a half, two months ago, I did a pack opening. I'm pretty sure this is how it got started trending on the channel comments. Um, I zoomed in on Manalus, compared to him, compared him to Anis and Gibb, and then I just highlighted the fact that his shooting was 19 and had some of the most embarrassing shooting stats of any player in FIFA. In fact, if you want to go on Foothead and see just how bad his uh, shooting stats are, literally the first three pages are filled with mostly bronze and silvers. He is the 16th player on the first page ranked as a shooter. You have to go to the third page to find the next worst gold shooter. <laughs> Also agree. It's before the EA don't want Greek players to perform well at FIFA conspiracy. So the other day when I went to the PO box, I got this message from Aaron highlighting 84 Manalus. Also, I'm bored, so here's a picture of his dog. Shout out Elmer, bro. Also, he sent me this little graphic card, Ghost which I am gonna hold on to. On the back, there's a note. It's like a bit illy or something like that. Does anyone know if this is an actual link? So we're doing the Costas Manalus episode. I decided to splurge, went for 190,000 coins, went for his 86 overall uh, inform card, 82 pace, 23 shooting. If we apply the 100 card, which we have, he goes up to 72 shot power, 39 volleys, 32 finishing, 24 long shots, and 60 positioning. And that's with the 100 chemistry style applied. It is 10 times worth it without it. On his base card, he's got 15 finishing. Like, what do you have to do in life? What do you have to do to have finishing? That shit. Eat a lot of pasta! On the plus side, he's 6'2", he's got 74 agility and 85 reactions. But outside of that, I don't know what else to say. We also had to throw him into a 3.5 star rating squad given the foot champions qualification stipulation this week. So we had to surround him with mostly silvers and tactically applied gold cards in the form of upgraded Anton Rudiger. We've got a fellow Greek upgraded Torosidis. I don't even know this Pomini, the keeper. Uh, we've got this guy just because his name is in Incredible Eloge Kofi Yao Guy. I mean, that's just one of the greatest names in FIFA history. Upgraded Vareka. We've got this guy, Oduamadi Imdadi. Uh, Oduamadi's got four star skill moves, 94 pace, no shooting stats as well. Pretty basic uh, uh, passing stats. And then we've got Zamaili, um, a hero of FIFA's past. Still has some incredible shooting stats. The Swiss man wanted to include him. And then this guy who looks like an absolute tank. 70 pace, 75 defending, 80 physical for an 80 uh, for a 74 overall informed silver card. Looks pretty sweet. Jose Caleon, one of the channel favorites in FIFA 13. Had to include him in there. Another guy who got a pretty sweet updated uh, player face. Uh, three star skill moves, 90 pace, and decent shooting and crossing as well. And of course we have the Roma men up top. We have the Egyptian Messi, Mohamed Salah, and Costa. Manila. So this is the squad boys. We're about to pop into it. We're gonna see if this card can actually do stuff. We've done Pear Murda Sacker. We have done, who else do we play out of position? We've done uh, Miguel Wayoy's Lion Lion, who obviously has crazy stats on his card. Complete opposite of Manalus. But we're about to get into this match, boys. If you guys are hyped for the Striker Costas Manalus episode here, smash that like button as well. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Match number one, I don't even know what to expect. I'll, let's just go. Let's just go right into the match. All right, so he wanted that Fantasella in there so badly, he's willing to put up with freaking bronzes. He's got a 56 rated keeper. If Costas Manolos had any chance to ever score in any FIFA, it's the fact that this guy has a 56 bronze rated keeper. The Costas Manolos episodia begins now, boys. Orgasmic proportions. All right, he's got some agility. <laughs> Could you just even imagine? By the way, Alex and Gianmarco, if you guys are watching this video, number one, I hope you guys enjoy. Number two, uh, 
appreciate the, uh... Oh, shit! What a save! Yang Hanbin? What fucking save was that, dude? Straight from the top of my phone. Dude, the lean with it, rock with it, holy shit. rated 56 rated hangman dude he's not bad costas monolus to be fair for how shit his uh, positioning is has been actually pretty active and made some pretty solid runs almost banged one in from distance uh five minutes into the game should have put a header opportunity away given that that's one of his key stats like yes i know he's on three chem but still should have put that away if I was a betting man, I'd say Kostas Manolas is going to get a goal before the 65th minute. If I was a betting man, I'd say Kostas Manolas is going to get a goal before the 65th minute. Kostas If I was a betting man, I'd say Kostas Manolas is going to get a goal before the 65th minute. Nothing like what he looks like in real life. How is that cost us mad us? We were literally one minute late with our prediction. Dude, who needs... Hold a second. Hold on just a damn second. What would do it? Madalus can do it all. Why is it whenever I take a shower the grandma hair comes back, boys? Okay, so Zamaili gets the man of the match, gets himself a goal and an assist. Manolas gets himself an assist and a goal. What a team effort from the trio. The two Romans and then freaking Jamaili, man. Match number two, we're coming up against Manchester Depay. Kasper Schmeichel, Bellerin. He's got Rashford up top. Dude, see, you know what would be crazy? If this was actually the stipulation going into foot champions this weekend. Like, that would be so much fun if people had to use squads that didn't have players that were, like, above, whatever, 83, 84 to get the uh, three and a half star rating. First touch. Come on, bro. Come on. Completely outplaying our opponent. Uh, Asala should have had one. Smiley should have had one. I know I'm pronouncing his name different every single time. But uh, we should be on the board. It should be at least 1-0 right now. Nine shots, six on target. We're dominating. He's making some moves right now. This is the match where he pops one in from distance. Or at least, at least scores. Whoa! Mohamed Salah! Wow! Touch perfect from Mohamed Salah. Could have only been touched a certain way. Sounds kind of weird. What a send! Was that Jamaili? I think Jamaili's the one with the neon boots, has the exact same haircut as uh, Manolas. I think Manolas is in the white. And he's making some subs. He's bringing on Andre Gray for Lewis Cook. Match number two, we get ourselves the victory. 9.2 for Salah, 6.6 .6 for Manolas. Now, he didn't do himself any favors, and by and large, he's proven the fact that he has really, really horrible shooting. He had, I think he's had like, there's been at least two opportunities where he should have put them through in both this match and the one before. He should be up to at least three goals. But uh, given that his rating is so bad when it comes to shooting, he just hasn't put him away. But he's come close. He hit the post. Uh, he struck it directly at the 56 bronze uh, keeper in match number one. Probably should have had a hat trick in that one. Match number two, we get the victory. Thanks to thanks to mostly Mohamed Salah and uh, Kalihon and Jamaili just being the rock of our entire team. 
Let's get into match number three. Let's see if we can score. Let's see if we can get one more goal with Custos Manolas. All right, boys, so here we go. The third and final match. And we are coming up against a fellow Syria side. He's got Abate. He's got Felipe Anderson. He's got 76 Muriel. Fucking hell, he's got Donnarumma in there as well. Tolosini, that other center back. Dude, really, really solid center back. Uh, 76 pace, I think 81 defending. And then 82 physical. Thought about possibly using him. Went Rudiger, uh, which allowed me to use a higher rated, I think, one of either Sala or... Um, for Kaleon. I mean, obviously, he's tough to play with. First half, and it doesn't seem like anything happened. Uh, Manolas had a couple chances, but no one had anything that should have been a clear-cut goal. Boys, I didn't think it was going to be that tough. Two and a half matches, one goal for Manolas. Like, yes, I expected it just because his stats are so bad. But I thought maybe two by now? Maybe two by now? Madman. For a madman. Maybe two by now? Madman. Madness! Madness! It is like the freaking seas parted! And Modulus was able to make that run! Dude, that was like divine green intervention and we get the rage quit! This guy can't believe that I just scored on him with Striker Costas Manolas. Oh, ho, ho! he gets himself the only goal in the match and it is the only one that matters. Two goals. To be fair, a player with that shit stats, I can't believe that he actually put him away. Three matches played, two goals, and no goal bigger than that last one. 77th minute to get us the win. Really just, it, it had to, it could have only happened like that. Costas Manolas can only score with a gift given pass like that. But that is the Episodia, boys. Finally, the Striker Manolas Episodia is in the books. Now, I was thinking about possibly making this a series where I take a really bad or possibly do a position change every Monday. I'm trying to think what the series could be called, where I, like, th that is the day that I do the out of position uh, player up at striker. But to be fair, really happy with the way this three and a half star um, uh, Calcio A side played. Jamaili was really good. Calion was great. Salah made incredible runs. And the defense by and large was pretty, pretty solid. 66 rated keeper. Uh, Palmini was really, really good as well. That's the episode here, boys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys did enjoy the episode, hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below as well. If you guys want to interact with me on Instagram and Twitter, those links can be found in the description below as well. But like I said, hopefully you guys did enjoy the Striker Costas Manolas episode. Yeah, wasn't as torturous as I thought it was going to be given how poor of a rating he has. I mean, even on his inform 23 shooting, that's just absolutely embarrassing. But anytime we see a Manolas now, we're going to remember this epi and just the sheer freaking brilliance and luck of that last goal in the third match. But anyway, I will see you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, boys. Tschüss. Later. Ade.